over. I can't believe it, brother. Oh, yeah, brother. I can't believe it's Cocktober. What's up, everybody? Joe Stingray back here again. Got another Cocktober review. This was recommended by Mad Puppet Death. This is Suspicious River from 2000. Thanks a lot for the recommendation. Uh, go check her channel out if you're not familiar with her. She does great videos and really cool person as well. But uh, this film is from 2000 and it is directed by Lynn Stope, Stopequich. I'm sure I'm not pronouncing that right, but stars uh, Molly Parker, Callum Keith Rennie, Keith Keating, uh, Joel Bizonet, and uh, it's directed by a female. And that uh, I'm going to talk more about that in the future. It's also written, the original novel was written by a female as well, but uh, um, this takes place in a small town, and this uh, the lead character, uh, played by Molly Parker, her name is uh, Layla. She's a uh, prostitute at a hotel. She well, she actually she works the the front desk. She's like a receptionist. You know she she's the one who hands you your room key and checks you in and all that stuff. And uh, she's also a prostitute. Like people will go check into their room and pay extra, you know, to her for their room, and then you know she'll go up and perform her services. Uh, but yeah, this takes place like in the seventies, I think, and uh, it's. It was shot in Canada, but it's actually uh, supposed to be in the United States somewhere, like, you know, Midwest or something. But, um, yeah, it just, it, when the film starts out, like, you never have a good feeling about anything. Like, the whole sleaziness of the guys that come in and, you know, want to, you know, want to sleep with her or whatever. It's just really, uh, I don't know, it's just, it's it's not, like, overly graphic, but it's just really gross, you know, the way they set it up. Um I don't know. It's just a gross subject matter anyway. But, um, And then she eventually meets a guy who uh, who actually, like, like beats her up pretty bad. Like, that's his, you know, thing. He, he, you know, goes in and pays her. And, you know, his deal is he kind of beats her up a little bit. And then he, uh, you know, has sex with her. But uh, she eventually, you know, starts to date him in one way or another. And, you know, eventually starts having sex with him, not for money, because she enjoys it. But uh, at that point, the film it starts it starts giving you more and more information about what happened to her mother, because her mother died in a really strange circumstance, and it gives you lots of flashbacks between her, her childhood, and uh, you know, this is going to be a little bit of a spoiler, but she there's actually this little girl in the film that you see, you know, she's talking to and you know, has conversations with, and that's actually, it took me a little while to figure this out, but that's actually her as a little girl, so, um, it's really well done how they played the story out, and, uh, really well acted, and, uh, just a, you know, great film all around, the ending, uh, I know a lot of people hated it, I, I read some reviews on it, a lot of people hated the ending, and, uh, this movie's got a really low score on IMDb. It's got like a 6 or something. I think it should be much higher than that. I'd definitely give this film a 7.5, maybe higher than that. But I uh, had a lot of fun with it. Well, I wouldn't say I had a lot of fun with it, but I enjoyed it. It's a very well-made film. It was something i never heard of before, so thanks a lot for the recommendation. But uh, the... Uh, Another problem a lot of people had about this film was the rape in the in the film, which you know a lot of you guys are you know horror fans, you know exploitation fans, so you're not you know uh, you know you've seen rape in films before, you know rape revenge movies, but uh, it's I mean it, you know it happens in real life. I don't know why people are so offended by it in movies. You know this this movie was showing the experience of this woman and. You know that's that's what happened in her life. You know they they think it's demeaning to women, but I mean that's real life shit. You know that happens to people, and you know it's nice to see movies that don't hold back stuff like that because it is you know parts of society. You know, not all parts of society are good, and you can't have everything candy coated. So, um, really well made film. Uh, I'd highly recommend it to all of you guys, and uh, thanks for watching.